this is good cold water here. Don't y'all want to drink of this good cold water out here? Kind of remind me of when my daddy used to be a preacher way back yonder in the 60s in that old church. It'd be hot on July Sunday morning. He'd have a big old glass of ice water up there at the pulpit. He'd be preaching every once in a while. He'd stop me. I wanted to run up there and get some of that water. I think he did it on purpose so we could pay attention to him. But I'm going to read this story and it's about my daddy. My favorite Christmas memory. I wrote this in December 1994. Luke 2 and verse 10. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. When we think of Christmas, we picture presents under the tree, a Christmas play at the church, Christmas lights, and the hustle and bustle of that time of the year. As I look back over the 42 years the good Lord has allowed me to live, Christmas of 1966 stands forever etched in my mind. I was 14 years old and only son with four sisters. I really had a close relationship with my daddy, the late Reverend A.J. Rozier. The week before Christmas, daddy and the late Reverend Jody Thigpen performed the wedding ceremony for my oldest sister Shirley and her husband Joe. The simple ceremony at our old home place brought a sense of joy in the air. We eagerly anticipated the excitement of Christmas Day. On December the 22nd, 1966, I was helping Daddy deliver furniture. Back then, country preachers didn't receive a large enough salary to support their families and had to work other jobs. Daddy worked for Gizzard McDonald Furniture Company. My first cousin, the late Clyde Dublin, and I went with Daddy to Hazelhurst to deliver a refrigerator. Afterwards, I remember Daddy sitting down and saying, Boys, I've got to rest a minute. He felt better, and we drove the 50 miles back to Blackshear and Mama's Good Supper. Our Christmas tree was up and the presents were wrapped. Only two days and a night before Christmas. That night, my 40-year-old preacher daddy dropped dead of a heart attack. I remember all the people coming, the Christmas tree and presents being removed, and my daddy's casket taking that spot. On that cold, cloudy Christmas day, we buried my daddy. Suddenly, presents and trees didn't mean that much. The Lord answered daddy's Christmas prayer. He longed to be with Jesus. From that Christmas on, our truly realize what the true meaning of Christmas is. Yes, it's a time of celebration. For unto us this day is born a Savior. Without his birth, we would have no hope of being reunited with our loved ones. I will see my daddy again. You see, almost eight years ago, another one of daddy's prayers was answered. I too am a child of the King. This Christmas of 1994, let us rejoice in the birth and death of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he lives, we can live also. Luke 2 and 11, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. 